In this video, I'm gonna tell you the number one best supplement that you need to be taking if you're suffering from eczema or topical steroid withdrawal. I'm just kidding. There is no magic supplement that's going to cure your skin. So instead, let's talk about why personalization is so important when it comes to choosing the best supplements for you. Hi everyone, my name is Larry. Welcome to Fighting Eczema. Supplements can be very beneficial when it comes to healing the skin. However, the supplements that you should be taking need to be personalized specifically for you. The key here is that you need to first figure out the root causes of your eczema or TSW. Only then will you be able to choose the right supplements that will work the best for you. I really recommend working with a healthcare professional to develop a supplement plan. They'll be able to tell you what supplement to take, how to take it, when to take it, how much of it to take, and they'll also be able to monitor you throughout your time using the supplement. They will also be able to check to make sure that the supplements you're taking don't react with any medications or other supplements that you're already taking. All right, so let's go through some areas of health and look at how supplements might help you improve these areas of health, leading to improvements in your skin. Poor gut health is often a root cause of eczema and TSW. The good news is that supplements can be really helpful when it comes to fixing gut health. One supplement is called L-glutamine. L-glutamine is an amino acid that the cells in your gut use primarily to heal. So if you have any gut issues where the cells of your gut are potentially damaged, L-glutamine would be a good supplement to take. Another supplement that may be beneficial to healing the gut is probiotics. Having too much bad bacteria in your gut is often a contributing factor for skin issues. So replacing those bad bacteria with good bacteria through probiotics can be really beneficial. Now remember, just because gut issues can lead to skin issues doesn't mean that your skin issues specifically are being caused by gut issues. If your gut is fine and you are taking these supplements, you might be wasting a lot of time and money. This is why it is so important to be working with a healthcare professional to first determine if you have gut issues or not before you start randomly taking supplements. If you want to work with me personally, check out our programs at fightingeczema.com. I'd be happy to work with you to determine the root causes of your skin issues. The next area of health I want to talk about is sleep. If you are not sleeping well, your skin will never heal. This is because when you sleep, your body produces hormones that promote the healing of the skin. This is where supplements come into play. Supplements such as melatonin or glycine can be useful for helping you sleep better. Furthermore, there are a lot of studies that show that herbal teas such as lavender or chamomile teas can be beneficial in promoting good sleep. So if you are having trouble sleeping, first try to fix your sleep hygiene. If that doesn't work, consider adding in supplements. Now let's talk about protein. Protein is required to rebuild the skin. Two major components of your skin include collagen and keratin. Collagen and keratin are proteins. If you are not eating enough protein, your body won't have the protein required to rebuild and repair collagen and keratin. I usually recommend 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram of ideal body weight. If you have never tracked your protein intake, I really recommend you give it a try because a lot of my clients will think that they're eating enough protein, but once they actually track it, they find out that they're eating less than this recommended 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. If you find it hard to eat enough protein throughout the day, this is where supplementation comes in handy. Supplementing your diet with a daily scoop of protein powder can be a simple way to increase your protein intake. Collagen supplements can also be used for this exact same purpose. Lately, I've been seeing more brands create these collagen bone broth protein powders, which can be a really easy and simple way to increase your protein intake in a delicious way. All right, next let's talk about nutritional deficiencies. Again, this is where personalization is very important. Here's one example. People with vitamin D deficiencies seem to have more skin issues than people without vitamin D deficiencies. So my question to you is, do you know if you're vitamin D deficient or not? If you are deficient in vitamin D, supplementing with vitamin D might result in major healing of your skin. However, if you're not vitamin D deficient and you're taking vitamin D, it might just be a waste of money. Again, this highlights the importance of working with a healthcare professional. 
I also want to mention vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 deficiencies have been becoming more and more common lately. B12 is important for energy production. If you are someone who is tired all the time, a vitamin B12 deficiency might be playing a part in that. Now, vitamin B12 might not be directly linked to your skin issues. However, if you're deficient in vitamin B12 and you're tired all the time, you might not be doing things like exercising regularly, cleaning your living environment regularly, meal prepping, and these are all things that you need to be doing regularly if you want to heal your skin. So the idea here is that nutrient deficiencies may be decreasing your overall health, indirectly leading to skin issues. The next area of health I want to mention is hormone health. The hormone to skin connection is very complex, but studies show that hormone dysregulation can contribute to skin issues. For example, a lot of teenagers will develop acne because of teenage hormone changes. Also, a lot of women will develop eczema flare-ups around the time of their period. It's possible that hormone imbalances are contributing to your skin issues. To determine if hormones are causing you skin issues, a workup with a healthcare professional will likely need to be done. However, you can also just think about your own symptoms. Do you notice any sort of abnormal hormone symptoms? For example, abnormal sex drive for your age or an irregular menstrual cycle. Furthermore, looking into your thyroid hormones or your adrenal gland hormones might give you more answers. The key idea I wanna bring up here is that if you are suffering from hormone imbalances, supplementation can become very useful to rebalance your hormones. Before we get into the next area of health, I'm gonna ask you to hit the like button if you're finding this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching this far. Let's keep going. Next, I want to bring up mental health. If you notice that you're suffering from a lot of anxiety or depression, you will wanna address these issues because they can be huge barriers when it comes to healing your skin. Again, working with a healthcare professional is gonna be your best bet, but supplements can play a major role here when it comes to improving your mental health. For example, some supplements that can help reduce anxiety include things like L-theanine or valerian, while St. John's wort is a supplement that might be given to someone who is suffering from mild depression. Now, please don't go and buy these supplements just because I mentioned them. When it comes to supplementing for mental health, things can become dangerous if done incorrectly. If you find that your skin is giving you major anxiety and depression, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram at fighting underscore eczema. I'd be happy to chat with you about these feelings. If you wanna continue learning about how to heal your skin, feel free to check out one of the videos that has just popped up on your screen. I hope you learned something in this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.